Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's Drawn to Figures lesson, we're going to talk about one of the phases of oil paintings called blocking out the painting or blocking. So there's lots of phases and layers that go into an oil painting and blocking is just one of those phases. We'll talk about how you get to the blocking phase and what to do with it once you get there. Okay, let's get started. All paintings have to go through several stages of layers to become the pieces that hang on the walls at the National Portrait Gallery. From the beginning when we stretch the canvas to the finishing varnish, there are a lot of steps in between, including one step called blocking. We have a great portrait at the National Portrait Gallery that illustrates almost every step in the portraiture development process. This is the Treaty of Versailles. Notice how in this section of the painting, we can see the artist's sketches or the linear marks made with oil paint. This is the artist setting up the portrait and it's called the underpainting. Now notice how in this section, there's splotches of color within the small portraits. This is called blocking. In blocking, the artist is setting up the basic color tones of that section of the face. It's not meant to be detailed. It's just big spaces of color setting up the tones. And in this section, we see another level of detail. So this is after the blocking, but with a bit more information, but not full details. And then finally, in this stage, we see some finished portraits. These sitters are the main subject of this piece. You'll notice Woodrow Wilson is here in the middle. When an artist blocks in a painting, they're on their way to a color study. Artists will sometimes do several color studies before they work on their final piece to make all of their discoveries and decisions about that phase. The blocking out phase and color study phase are important because it eliminates questions and guessing in the portraiture process. An artist never wants to be wondering, guessing, or fixing in their portrait process. They're always exploring, learning, and developing. Thanks so much for joining me for today's Drawn to Figures lesson. I hope you found the lesson interesting and I hope you learned something. Okay, we'll see you next time. Under portrait search, you can type in study.